Donald Trump's remarks resonate deeply with traditional values, law and order, and national pride. But sadly, this is now a city in decline. Throughout my life, I've seen New York through good times and bad, through boom times and crime waves, through market crashes and terrorist attacks, but I've never seen it quite like this. We have filthy encampments of drugged out homeless people living in our places that we've spent so much time with children where they used to play. We have lunatics killing innocent bystanders by pushing them onto the railroad tracks for sport. Our sob, uh, it's a sad, it's a sad thing. Don't worry, it gets positive. Don't worry, it gets so positive. Remember, we're going to win. We're all winners. We're going to win so big. We're going to make it bigger and better than ever before. Remember that. So don't worry. By the time the other six or seven thousand people get in, it'll be very positive. Our subways are squalid and unsafe. The ceiling tiles are falling down and they look worse than a third world country. The medians of our highways are crumbling. Our sidewalks are littered with garbage, bottles and trash. But worst of all, the discarded needles from people that so desperately are in need of help. And we have mobs of migrants fighting our police officers and giving America the middle finger. But we are not going to let this continue. We are not going to abandon our hope and our pride. This city has given us so much, and now it is time that we are going to give it back. Together, we are going to make New York City great again, and simultaneously, we are going to make America great again. Trump's speech serves as a powerful rallying cry for restoring the lost greatness of New York City and the United States. His vivid references to filthy encampments, lunatics, and mob of immigrants underscore his concerns about public safety, social order, and the impacts of liberal governance. By urging us to make New York and the entire country great again, he taps into a conservative longing for a return to a better past, highlighting values like individual responsibility, community integrity, and national pride. In his speech, Trump stresses the pursuit of personal identity, responsibility, and meaning. His narrative calls upon the collective responsibility of citizens to confront and overcome social decay. He paints New York's decline as a metaphor for the broader crises facing individuals and communities in modern society, emphasizing the significance of personal action and commitment. He urges us to give back and not abandon our hope and our guide, aligning with his overarching message. Trump's speech is designed to evoke powerful emotions such as fear, anger, and hope. His stark depiction of decline aims to create a sense of urgency and mobilize his supporters, while his promise of recovery and greatness serves to inspire and galvanize action. The interplay of negative and positive imagery seeks to craft a compelling narrative that resonates emotionally and ideologically, evoking empathy and rallying support.